With so many small businesses struggling in this pandemic, some Denver streets are staying closed to give people more room to spread out. Going into the new year, the plan is to keep many of these streets as shared streets, but there are changes coming. Here's Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez. When shared streets were first introduced in parts of Denver, it seemed like a foreign concept. Now many have gotten used to seeing barricades in the middle of the street. Just made it much more comfortable to walk in the neighborhood. Denver shared streets discourage cars and allows people to have more space in the street to walk or ride their bike, something David Mincer does every day to get to work. It definitely feels less stressful when I'm coming down Cap Hill and, you, you know, I used to have to worry about a car turning into me or coming across. David helped start a petition to keep Denver shared streets alive, and it's been signed by more than 1,600 people. His goal is to see this program continue well past 2021. We saw so many people enjoying the use of these streets and we wanted their voices to be heard. For now, the city plans to replace some of the current barricades with heavier ones. They'll also reopen some roads completely while adding more shared streets in different neighborhoods. I think the biggest drawbacks thus far is that it's not touching every community in Denver. Lowville, Elyria, Swansea, Westwood, these are places that have been hit the hardest by the pandemic and they deserve places to be able to go to outside. Although the current barricades have helped, David believes there's still room for improvement. I see cars veering to avoid the barricades and they veer into the bike lane and they veer back and going at 30 miles an hour. So that to me shows that the design isn't working as it should. While the long term future of Denver's shared streets is unknown, many in the community believe this pandemic invention deserves a permanent green light. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.